In our previous video, we explored how DeFi can revolutionize collateral and credit, particularly focusing on how collateral is managed in traditional finance. We introduced the Anvil protocol, a smart contract vault that secures assets, supports collateral pools, and enables smart contracts to issue digital letters of credit. Anvil makes collateral management transparent and secure, resulting in the most verifiable and efficient credit issuance system. So what are the current and future use cases of Anvil? How might the protocol evolve? And what might the future of decentralized finance look like? Anvil already has a variety of use cases. One of the most immediate applications of Anvil is within traditional loans. Letters of credit can be issued to third parties, enabling users to receive traditional cash loans. Because these loans are secured by collateral, they carry minimal risk and offer the lowest interest rates. Borrowers can use loan proceeds for everyday expenses, making it a sustainable way to borrow against digital assets. As Anvil expands to support yield generating or other productive assets, this use case will become even more empowering, offering borrowers greater financial flexibility. Letters of credit can be widely applied within DeFi to facilitate counterparty credit. When a lock is created, the beneficiary, be it a person or a smart contract, can immediately credit an account balance on a protocol or exchange. Assets are guaranteed to transfer on demand. Locks can be accepted on centralized exchanges, providing instant deposits for immediate trading or more efficient liquidity for market makers. While beneficiary exchanges have unrestricted claims to credited assets, the publicly visible collateral ensures transparency and verifies the absence of user fund misappropriation. Additionally, external custody providers may leverage beneficiary multi-signature accounts to provide assurance against illegitimate claims. Another key use is asset bridging. This is where locks utilized within smart contracts enable instant transactions across different platforms. When a bridge application recognizes locks as a beneficiary, assets can be minted on an alternate ledger even before the input transaction reaches economic finality. This mechanism is particularly capital efficient for arbitrage opportunities as Anvil imposes no initiation or maintenance fees. Locks can also secure deposit or withdrawal transactions on layer two implementations, which often involve lengthy consensus challenge periods. Platforms that integrate Anvil locks can ensure immediate on-demand asset transfers, enabling safe and efficient transactions across multiple layers. For payments, locks enhance security for both online and in-store digital transactions. Their variable duration allows asset transfers to achieve economic finality quickly or over extended periods depending on the use case. The ability to support any tokenized asset increases integration flexibility, simplifying compliance and acceptance across a wide range of digital payment systems. Additionally, locks offer a more efficient method for collateralizing purchases within credit-based payment networks, facilitating batch settlements. At the same time, passive vault assets can be utilized to issue various collateralized stablecoin products, supporting direct payments and strengthening protocol economics through inherent yield generation. So what's next for Anvil? Its future is ultimately shaped by its token holders. Decentralized governance grants the community sovereignty and control over the platform's evolution. In this model, all decisions are transparent Participants can propose and review changes that help reduce objective risk to the protocol. This ensures that changes such as the inclusion of new assets are carefully considered and approved by the community. This process allows Anvil to function without proprietary assets while maintaining the trust required for its operation. Additionally, third-party contracts looking to use the Anvil Collateral Vault for credit issuance must also undergo governance approval reinforcing the protocol's commitment to security and oversight. Anvil was intentionally designed with minimal features, prioritizing composability to facilitate smart contract integration. This approach ensures that the core contracts can serve as a solid foundation for other applications throughout the decentralized finance ecosystem. The Anvil roadmap envisions cross-chain collateral management on layer two networks, aimed at enhancing efficiency for users and supporting a wide range of assets. 
Future developments may include the creation of smart contracts that can facilitate interactions on behalf of TradFi entities like banks, custodians, or payment networks, further bridging the gap between decentralized and traditional financial ecosystems. Additionally, exploratory research is underway on collateral restaking contracts, which could be used to secure other smart contracts or protocols. The potential extension of Anvil-issued stablecoins from the core vault contract could add another layer of functionality. Custom non-fungible tokens may also be developed to represent generalizable locked states, allowing for streamlined wallet integration and efficient metadata usage, ultimately making the protocol even more accessible and adaptable for users. A universal and composable collateral protocol has broad applications in both decentralized and traditional finance. Anvil is designed to support any type of asset, from tokenized real-world items to traditional assets like bonds, stocks, and government bills. These assets have already been issued on Ethereum-compatible blockchains, demonstrating the efficiency of integrating decentralized verification into traditional finance. Moreover, global exchanges are currently trading tokenized equities, futures, and options showcasing the potential of decentralized protocols to reshape traditional capital markets. This evolution mirrors the structure of foreign currency exchange, the world's most liquid financial market, which operates entirely in a decentralized manner without a physical presence, centralized ownership, or management. By eliminating fees and commissions associated with clearing houses and redundant operations, decentralized frameworks promote more efficient markets. Or a hybrid model could emerge wherein centralized issuance is complemented by decentralized verification and authorization. This approach not only reduces data inconsistencies and eliminates the need for centralized clearing, but also significantly lowers transaction costs. With direct market access, participants are better positioned to detect systemic risks and counterparty failures earlier. Anvil could serve as a trusted mechanism, securing traditional collateral transactions across a wide range of tokenized asset classes accelerating the adoption of decentralized solutions in traditional markets. We're seeing a new global financial system emerge, one with almost no transaction costs, open source financial tools, and no intermediary fees. Collateral remains the foundation of the financial system, and the most common forms of collateral in traditional finance are increasingly being tokenized, paving the way for a more transparent and efficient financial ecosystem. The biggest credit markets can benefit from an open network that helps manage collateral assets. Ensuring the authenticity and validation of these assets is critical, with decentralized verification offering a more efficient and trusted way to streamline collateral use within the global financial system. As digital assets in DeFi continue to evolve, they are poised to become integral to everyday financial transactions. Due to its global nature, DeFi operates among various legal frameworks and jurisdictions. The rise of digital assets is similar to how cars, online shopping, and streaming media started. They all faced legal hurdles before becoming mainstream. Legal frameworks will inevitably adapt to accommodate the innovation driven by digital assets propelled by the underlying technology's inherent value. As the digital asset landscape evolves, advancements in account extensibility, security, Zero-knowledge proofs, privacy, and scaling solutions will foster continued growth and adoption. Today, there are an estimated 400 million cryptocurrency users globally, representing around 5% of the world's population. A level of adoption that mirrors the early internet's reach in 2000, when approximately 350 million people, or 5.5% of the global population, were online. Looking ahead, the potential for tokenized asset issuance is staggering. Projections suggest it could exceed 10 trillion US dollars within the next few years. This growth will be fueled by the tokenization of global asset classes, including real estate, private equity, bonds, securities, and commodities, marking a significant shift towards a more decentralized financial future. We are at the forefront of transforming financial systems bringing efficiency, transparency, and security to both decentralized and traditional markets. But this is only just the beginning. The value of money is based on trust. With systems now capable of creating trust, 
These systems can create new forms of money. These types of new money are programmable and interconnected in an internet of value. And because the entire framework is open source, its growth will be unprecedented. Ultimately, decentralized finance holds the potential to democratize the financial system, breaking down barriers and empowering individuals with greater freedom and control over the assets that matter to them. We are on the cusp of a more equitable and inclusive global financial future, one we can all look forward to. Mm -hmm.